Hey guys, welcome to the first ever episode of Talk Motoring. I say the first ever episode, it's not actually the first episode of Talk Motoring. Um, we were on a, I wanna call it a radio show, but it was more like an online streaming platform podcast. It was on a, on a station called Lucky Radio. You could uh, view it from there or listen to it from their website. We were on every Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Um, I started on as a guest. I moved from there to hosting the show when our two presenters left. I then brought in Ian Young and Fabian Lance to help me out because me just talking on my own was just me rambling on into the night so for three hours so luckily i got them involved and we could have a bit of a back and forth with three with two other people um we did interviews with leroy polter discussing the dakar when he just came back things like that and and we became very much a a tight-knit unit and, and a very good clean show um when i say good clean i mean good clean cuts so the there was very little stop and go we were getting along well with each other talking nicely with each other but unfortunately it came to a very abrupt end so we lost talk motoring that was four five six years ago that that we were running that show and it's it's always something i enjoy doing i enjoy talking to people i enjoy having a bit of fun i enjoy giving some sort of entertainment value to to someone so i've always wanted to do it this is not a i'm bored at home stuck in lockdown i'm going to now put a video together and just randomly talk to people on facebook and youtube i want talk motoring to be a motoring show so what we always did and what we will do going forward is we try to create content that was a useful to people and b had a bit of fun to it and, and, and entertainment value so we used to have the auto trader car of the week or the banger car of the week before auto trader got involved and we would go and look for vehicles on gumtree or on the auto trader app in a certain price range so we asked listeners we will now be viewers please in the comments leave below what vehicle are you looking for uh, what's your price range or what's your age group or what's your price range and age group so we could then go and take that information and go look for vehicles in a that price range and uh, be in that sort of age group so you know if you gave me a price range of 65,000 rand i wouldn't go and find you at pink and micro because your name is jeff and you're actually 32 years old um you know it's it's that along that kind of that kind of vein so that's what we're going to do in the show as well that will become part of our show going forward i'm not just going to be man alone rambling along and, and sitting in my my bar with my helmets behind me and pictures behind me the idea is this is actually going to become a motoring show so why i wanted to do this i will go go with this idea again is that i recently went to go visit uh, garth obersky at daw to go do some stickers for him i had dane van hedder with me um he works for me at kt motorsports and garth then took us around his factory as a just to show us around you know show us what he's done or what he's been doing or you know what's all in there and it is absolutely mind-blowing the, the cars that are in that factory now myself and dan have been lucky enough to see it and i'm sure a few other people have been lucky enough i mean garth could charge entrance and take people on tours in that place the amount of motorsport history that's in there so i'd like to go and have a chat with him with my camera and another presenter and have it have a view or get a tour of the place again and put it out there so everybody can see it i mean there's so much history there and so much stuff that people need to know about from the south african motor, motorsport scene that i think uh, it, it's worthwhile doing another person i went to another uh, little chat with he's down the road from my workshop in, in honeydew is piazza motorsport now paolo piazza musso trained a lot of us in in karting and, and we, a lot of us raced for him at Piazza Motorsport, him and his father and, and his world champion winning, championship winning brother Claudio at Piazza Motorsport. So Fabian, myself, Arnold Neuvelin, Wesley Orr, Leroy Poulter, we've all been through those doors at some stage. So he's been a major contributor to South African motorsports throughout the years. And he started a company called Piazza Motorsport. He's gone away from karting now, um, or restarted the company being Piazza Motorsport. They've gone away from karting now. He's now building classic vehicles and restoring classic vehicles, restoring classic race cars. He's had one car in the Goodwood Festival. So I went out to his, his premises and had a look and I was expecting a workshop with a couple of cars in it. It is far from that, okay? The premises he's on, there are some beautiful cars. He's put together a wonderful little man cave. So it's something that people should see. 
and uh, I want to take people through there and again with a co-host co and a camera and show everybody what Piazza Motorsport is about and I don't just want to do that with two factories I want to go out and see two other motorsport or Gazoo Racing or um, you know guys building Dakar vehicles or, or Fricky in the back of his, his garage in Bloemfontein building a, a Quatina. I want to do that sort of stuff. I want people to 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 see these sorts of things, the classic vehicles and, and, and the vehicles being produced here in South Africa. Not a lot of people know that a lot of road going vehicles are produced here in South Africa. So eventually I'd like to get into that aspect and, and go and show people that. So that is the idea of Torque Motoring. Uh, you know, above and beyond that, we do our we do a weekly car review, so we take a new vehicle that's been launched. If a new vehicle hasn't been launched, we'll play a game of trumps. I don't know if you remember trumps, it was a card game. You used to throw a card down and, and review it in terms of power or in terms of top speed. Or So the, the card showed you a picture of the vehicle and gave you four or five stats. So we're gonna do that as well with myself and Prince. Uh, being in lockdown at the moment, it's just gonna be me until lockdown ends. So maybe what I'll do is I'll do it with you guys in the comments. I'll launch a vehicle and you've got to respond with a vehicle. So I'll put out the a Lamborghini Mercia Lago with all its specs and you've got to come back at me with another vehicle and we'll review a winner at the end of the day or what that the following week's episode. You'll hear there's a lot of ums and ahs and mistakes in my speech. Uh, the video isn't 100% correct. This is not going to be for now um, a well edited, well oiled machine. I'm doing this all from my phone with a lamp on a chair and my phone stuck to a book with uh, sticky tape and duct tape. So it's not a 100% professional film. I'm not saying it's gonna stay like this. It'll probably move into that sort of level where we, we will have a bit more professionalism and more editing, but I'm gonna leave the mistakes in. You know, this needs to be fun, wholesome, and personal. And that's what I'm gonna keep talk motoring. It's always been fun, wholesome, and personal, and that's how we're gonna keep it. Um, short of that, let me give you an idea of where we're gonna go next week. So next week we'll be doing our weekly car review. I'm doing it on a brand next week as opposed to a car. So we're gonna look at the Haval as a, as a brand. Um, Haval is a new brand that's coming to the country. It was previously known as GWM. They've now taken their small vehicles and turned them uh, and changed the names and called them Haval. So there's a whole range of them. I'll be going through the whole range next week and then possibly from there on, we'll be looking at each individual vehicle. If there's a car you'd like me to review or have a look at for the upcoming weeks, please leave it in the comments. I'll have a look at all of them and go from there. So that is our weekly car review. Every week we'll be doing a weekly car review. Um, short of that, oh, on top of that, we'll also be doing our motorsport section. So in motorsport, we'll be doing uh, reviews of a series that was happening recently or an event that was happening recently. Possibly go and visit the event with our cameras, show you some footage of that or um, you know, just chatting to a driver about something that's happened either overseas or locally. We have such great drivers in this country, be it past drivers, be it current drivers, drivers that are doing super well locally and need, their, need the attention, or drivers that are doing super well internationally and deserve the attention. We've got so many drivers overseas doing so well and very few people here know about what they're doing unless you're in the motorsport circle. So I'd like to bring that to you and, and bring that to people watching. So we'll be doing that every week. But this week in our uh, motorsport section, I'll be having a chat about Sir Sterling Moss, who unfortunately uh, passed away recently. Um, he had a good run of it. I mean, he had a good full, full endurance race at it, but it's always sad to lose someone like that who's contributed so much to motorsports and, uh, and, and leave behind quite a big legacy. So I'll be having a look at the legacy of Sir Sterling Moss. And then um, we'll be looking at what's on the cards for e-racing. So e-racing become massive has become massively popular over, over the last few few weeks or few months because of COVID-19 and the lockdown. So we'll be having a look at uh, e-racing internationally and both uh, both internationally and locally as well. So that's uh, what's on the cards for for next week on Talk Motoring. Um, on average, most of my videos will be anywhere between 12 and 15 minutes, so you won't have to sit down and get yourself a cup of coffee to watch this. It's going to be very quick, very informative, and hopefully fun for everybody to watch. So that concludes our first episode of uh, Talk Motoring. Please, guys, if you're on Facebook, hit a like, share it on Facebook, get as many people to see it as possible. Um, I need as much support as I can get going forward. And then if you're on, the, on YouTube, please, if you enjoyed this and I kept your attention right to the end, hit like and uh, hit the subscribe button. That's the end of Talk Motoring episode number one. And uh, we'll see you again shortly for uh, next week, Tuesday, same time for episode